well, well, look who it is. Cora, the wretched woman who married my brother. I can't believe it either. I mean, of all the people in the world, he had to marry you? It's like he won the lottery of bad choices. <laughs> and what exactly are you getting at? Oh, please, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So, let's get down to brass tacks. I want to know what you did with the diamond necklace that my mom gave you on your wedding day. That necklace was mine. She promised me that she would give it to me, but you stole it from me. Give it back to me, you thief. It looks 100 times better when it's on my neck. Look, I don't know what your mother promised you, but it's not my problem. She gave the necklace to me as a gift on my wedding day, and it's mine now. If you have a problem with that, you can take it up with her. You cunning thief! What have you whispered in my mother's ear to swindle her into giving you the necklace? You must have spread lies about me to my mother, right? I always knew from the start how sly and manipulative you are. And I was right all along. My poor brother Angelo. From now on, he will have to live his life in pain and suffering alongside his wicked wife. Uh, excuse me, I'm not sure what you're trying to pull here, but don't think for a split second that I will let you belittle me only because you're my sister-in-law. What are you going to do about it, witch? Are you going to cast a spell on me? Or maybe you'll try to poison me. Don't make me talk to my brother about this. Angela can marry you, and he can also divorce you. He's more than capable of finding a more beautiful girl than you any day of the week. You think you're so important to him, huh? Guess what? You're only second to none. I am the first priority to Angelo. So you'd better back off and leave my brother alone. Women like you only make their husbands' lives miserable. Angelo is a grown man. He decides for himself and he has to take responsibility for his decision. I didn't force him to marry me, so why are you telling me to back off? It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> You just married my brother and you already expect him to take responsibility? What a lazy woman! Anyways, I don't want to get a bad reputation for giving my own sister-in-law a hard time, so I'm gonna deign to get along with you. There, you might want to bow down to express your gratitude to me, but don't get your hopes up and expect me to treat you like an equal. Well, what a generous head start you've given me. That's more like it. Now that you're finally coming to your senses, let's start building our relationship by you lending me the diamond necklace. I'm sure you wouldn't want to disappoint me after all. You know I have an obsession with jewelry, right? It would be a crime if I didn't have that necklace for my collection. Oh, not again. Look, Madison, I've told you repeatedly that the necklace is mine now. Mom gave it to me, and it's my responsibility to keep it safe. She made it very clear that it's a precious family heirloom that's been passed down for generations. I'm honored that she gave it to me, and I would never do anything to jeopardize its safety. So please, stop asking me to lend it to you. Are you seriously gonna reject me, your own family? I mean, the necklace won't look good on you. It doesn't match your style at all. Just give it to me. I promise I'll keep it safe and not let anyone else touch it. After all, I'm the one who has the refined taste to truly understand its beauty and is able to wear it to its fullest potential. <sighs> I already told you, I won't give it to you unless mom tells me to do so. Seriously? After I lowered my ego and talked to you like an adult, you still say no? How dare you! You're such a cruel, devilish sister-in-law. I can't believe you'd do this to me after all the kindness I've shown you. That necklace was supposed to be mine, and now you're just trying to steal it from me. Give it back to me right now, or I'll make you regret it. The kindness you've shown me? Please. I'd appreciate it if you would just try to be nice to me for once, but clearly you won't. Need I remind you of the last time you came to my house? You turned my wardrobe upside down, 
tried to steal my makeup and clothing without my permission, and even went through my purse. When I expressed my disagreement, you cried and made a scene, trying to vandalize the furniture in our house. I do want to improve our relationship, and I'm trying my best to do it. But at the least, you should show that you're equally invested in this effort. Goodness! I had no idea that you were both stingy and nitpicky. What a delightful combination. People like you deserve to live and die alone. I can only imagine what horrible things you did to trap my brother and make him marry you. Well, if you want to make yourself less despicable, there's always a way. Hand over the diamond necklace to me, and I will be gracious enough to keep it safe. After all, I'm the only one who's worthy of such a precious necklace. A commoner like you doesn't deserve such a treasure. Of course, you can always buy yourself another gaudy piece of jewelry to accentuate your lack of taste. I've told you a million times I'm not giving it to you. Stop asking me, it's not going to happen. If mom wants me to give it to you, she'll tell me herself. <sighs> oh, how I wish for a sweeter and more thoughtful sister-in-law. But alas, I am cursed with a stingy, selfish woman who only thinks for herself. How unfortunate for me. Fine, then go ahead and wear that necklace. I'm sure it will look lovely on you, right up until you lose it, break it, or spill something on it. I'm sure it will be worthless by the time you finish with it. Do you actually want a nicer sister-in-law? Or do you just want someone who's willing to give up their valuables to satisfy your greed? What's that attitude of yours? The mask is off, I see. Now you're portraying yourself as an evil witch who's so stingy and selfish that's willing to crush the dream of your own vulnerable and helpless little sister-in-law. You've just ruined your sister-in-law's life, and for what? A few pieces of jewelry? You're a disgrace. I'm going to make sure your husband knows about this. He'll be so disappointed in you that he's gonna dump you in no time. Cora, you're such a rude and heartless person. How could you be so mean to my sister and make her cry like that? Look at her eyes. They are all puffy and red from your nasty words. You are the reason for her pain. You may not share the same blood as Madison, but she's still your sister. You have no right to treat her so badly and disrespect her like that. You better change your attitude and apologize to Madison now. Madison was crying? What did she say to you? I'm not sure what I could have said to her that would have made her cry. I don't remember saying anything mean or hurtful to her. Now you're playing the innocent card, huh? How pathetic. You always try to avoid responsibility for your actions and blame others. What can I say? That trait suits you very well. In the end, you're just a coward and a liar. You were incredibly rude to my sister. You even said awful things to her when she asked to borrow your necklace. Now you're just sitting here, acting like you're innocent? I don't think so. First of all, I'm not sure what you're talking about because I didn't say anything rude to Madison. Second of all, I don't think it's fair for you to judge me without knowing the whole story. I gently declined her request because I thought it was too abrupt. I didn't want to make any promises that I couldn't keep. I'm not sure why you're so upset with me. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just trying to be honest with her. You didn't say anything rude to Madison. Please spare me the crocodile tears. You told her that a lowly person like Madison didn't deserve to wear such a beautiful necklace and that her carelessness would cause her to lose it. What's your problem? Are you so materialistic that you can't bear to part with a piece of jewelry? Come on, it's just a necklace. Besides, it was my mother who gave it to you. So technically, it belongs to my family. You're so selfish and greedy that you can't even share with your own sister? You should be disgusted with yourself. How can you say that? It's not like I stole it from her or anything. Your mother gave it to me as a gift. It's mine and I have the right to keep it. Besides, it's not just some cheap trinket. It's a valuable and precious necklace. When giving the necklace to me, your mother told me to never let anyone touch it, especially your sister. She said your sister would just pawn it off for cash, like she did with all the other jewelry that your mom gave her. Whoa, whoa, what a wicked witch you are. 
Now you're trying to slander my sister and make her look like a greedy monster or something? On the other hand, it's just a necklace. If you truly are a good sister-in-law like you always pretend to be, at least give it to my sister so that she can have fun wearing it around for a while. But no, you wanted to hurt Madison on purpose because it's your nature. You thrive on other people's misery and despair because it makes you feel strong and superior. What? I think there's some misunderstanding here. I never wanted to hurt Madison on purpose. Besides, not lending her the necklace doesn't mean hurting her. She's totally fine without it. What do you expect my sister to do to convince you? Beg you on her knees? Crawl through broken glass? What kind of monster are you? Seriously? I told you already. Your mom specifically told me to keep the necklace safe and away from your sister. I don't know why you keep asking me to give it to her, but it's not going to happen. As a son, you should respect your mom's decision. She gave me the necklace for safekeeping, and I'm going to do the best I can to protect it. Look, you have no clue what it's like to have a sister. My sister is the only sister you'll ever get. So why don't you drop your dumb pride and treat her with some decency? Don't even dream that I'm gonna let you get away with your nasty and rude actions towards my sister anymore. Wow, are you even hearing yourself right now? Why are you acting like me saying no to your sister's demand to have the necklace is some kind of violence when it's not? I'm sure you haven't forgotten what Madison did to me on our wedding day when your mom put the necklace on me, right? She wildly tried to yank it off my neck like a lunatic. Thankfully, your mom and dad quickly intervened and saved me from her, or else I would have landed on my face. What did you just call Madison? A lunatic? She's your sister-in-law for crying out loud. Is this how your parents raised you? To become an uneducated and savage human being? Never use that tone to talk about my sister, or else I'll make you regret it. What on earth are you talking about? Leave my parents out of this. This is between you and me. You're aware that Madison is my only sister, right? So, you should know that I love her more than anything in the world. I won't let you abuse my sister's generosity and vulnerability anymore. She reached out to you, saying that she wanted to be closer to you and showing her readiness to improve her relationship with you. But what did you do? You coldly refused to lend her a silly necklace because you're too greedy and miserly to share anything with anyone even if it's your own sister-in-law. Just stop. You're being more and more irrational, you know that? Now I understand why you always resist the idea of having my sister visit our place. I should have known better. I should have seen through your evil true self a long time ago. Look, the only reason why I'm always opposed to the idea of your sister staying at our house is because she always secretly steals things from me. When I confronted her about it and told her to stop, she started sobbing and insulting me. Honestly, answer me. Do you really want to have a robber in our house? I don't care. Have some respect for my sister, even if you have to fake it. I'll respect her if she respects me first. What? Such a smug and conceited woman. You're so full of yourself and it's getting on my nerves. A greedy and egotistic brat like you should get a taste of your own medicine. I'm going to make you suffer for hurting my sister's feelings, and it'll be a high price. Hey, Cora. Did you see the note I left on the front door? Yeah. How could anyone overlook that? It's a giant sign that says, get your stuff out of my house, right? <laughs> That's right. I just want to be extra careful that you don't ignore it. Where are you now, by the way? You've gone missing for the last few days. When I came home, you were nowhere to be found. Well, I'm just here in the Caribbean, enjoying some fresh air with my sister. In the Caribbean? I thought we would be enjoying our honeymoon there together. What? Are you insane? Or are you still foolish enough to even imagine that I'm gonna actually stick around or even take a honeymoon trip with you after what you did to my sister? Snap out of your fantasy and face the truth. I'm offering this trip to my sister as a way to apologize to her after all the abuse and contempt you inflicted on Madison. She needs this trip to recover from all the trauma. Trauma? Really? Isn't it supposed to be me who's traumatized by you and your sister's madness? 
She had been trying to take things from me, and you just blindly defend her while treating me, your own wife, like trash. And what made you act that way? It's your own idiocy and your disrespect towards my sister. Oh, and by the way, I'm also throwing you out of my house and letting my sister move in. From now on, you're officially dead to me. Got it? Oh, okay, fine. Actually, I was also planning to move out of the house myself, especially after I got to know how terrible of a person you really are. You're just a spineless man who can't even stand up for himself and for his own wife. You know nothing but doing the bidding for your sister. Oh yeah, keep hurling the nastiest insults you can think of at me. But remember, they only reveal how pitiful you are right now. <laughs> Just stay there and sob like a toddler while me and my sister have a blast on our lavish trip here in the Caribbean. The sun, the cool water, the blue sky, and the food too. Everything just makes for a dream vacation. We're staying here at a fancy resort that offers 24-hour room service and 5-star restaurants. I don't even want to leave. I can stay here for the rest of my life. Good to know that you're enjoying yourself that much. It's such a shame. If you behaved well and treated my sister a little nicer, you would have had the opportunity to come with us on this trip. No thanks. I wouldn't bother coming with you even if you begged me to. Oh, is that the best you've got? That's the weak self-defense of someone who's too jealous and desperate for attention, I see. It's funny and pathetic how you couldn't even come up with a better comeback than that. Well, you can always tag along and join us if you really want to. But remember to cover your own expenses. <laughs> I have work to do, so no, thank you. You know what? I asked some passerby to help me take a picture of myself and my sister and they even thought that we were a couple because we looked so good together. I was over the moon when I heard that and I beamed from ear to ear. I smiled so much that my cheeks hurt. Well, that sounds really disgusting, not gonna lie. Disgusting? How dare you call me disgusting when you're the one who's acting like a vile snake? You make me sick with your pathetic attempts to ruin your own sister-in-law's life. But I guess you can't help being jealous. Anyone would be when they see me and my sister and how we're living our best lives right now. How nice for you. Just so you know, we're hitting the mall and Madison is rocking her gorgeous designer outfits. They match her skin tone and figure so well, she looks like a royal beauty from a fantasy world come to life. And I don't mean just getting her a few pieces, I'm getting them all. I'm gonna spoil her rotten, whatever she wants. Oh, how I enjoy pampering my little sister, the one and only queen of my heart. Glad to hear it. I don't remember you being so generous back when we were dating. You know what? I don't want to and I don't need to hear your nonsense, so save it for someone else. Ha! That's hilarious! Why well, would I spend a dime on a worthless wife like you? Before marrying you, I was torn between you and Clara, but I picked you because you were fresher than her, and that's all. But in the end, it proved to be the biggest mistake of my life. What? Who's Clara? Were you cheating on me? Well, I wouldn't use such a harsh word as cheating, you know. I just wanted to explore my possibilities. You're sick, Angelo. How could you do this to me? I can't believe I was so stupid to marry you. <laughs> Keep talking, because it's like a symphony to my ears. Oh, I can listen to little Cora spitting her lame insults at me all day long without getting bored. She thinks she's hitting me with stones, but they turn out to be a bunch of fluffy cushions. Remember to gather your stuff from my house and get lost. I'm trying to enjoy my vacation with Madison here, and I don't need your negativity to ruin the moment. Well, if you love your sister that much, why don't you just marry her? You two would make a great couple like they say. What? Are you a sicko? Why on earth should I marry my own sister, you lunatic? Do I need to put you in some kind of madhouse so you can shut your mouth? Oh, of course. Go have fun with your sister. I'm sure you two will be very happy together. You're perfect for each other. Cora, I see that you finally gotten around to packing up your things and moving out of my house. 
How efficient of you to do it just in time for my sister to move in. Well done. Of course, since we're still technically married, I still expect you to come over to my house every day to help me and my sister with the housework. After all, I'm sure you're eager to prove to me that you're still a valuable member of this family. Look, Angelo, I'm starting to worry about your mental health. Have you considered seeing a therapist? They might be able to help you get a grip on reality. What? Is it too much? Well, I'm a good husband. So, if you think it's too much, then maybe I can settle for weekends. And that's the best deal you can get. Seriously, you should be thanking me for that. I mean, come on. Do you seriously think that we can handle the domestic chores all by ourselves? That's impossible. Wow, you're unbelievable. You really think I'm going to do anything for you after you treat me like garbage? You dumped me so that you could go on a relaxing vacation to the Caribbean with your sister. And then you forced me out of the house so that she could move in. What planet are you living on? Do you honestly think that I'm going to come running back to help you with the housework after everything you've done to me? Jeez, you must be the poster child for delusions. What do you mean? What's wrong with me spending time with my own little sister? I'm just trying to comfort her after she had been subjected to your constant abuse. You don't know how much emotional damage she had to suffer after what you did to her. Emotional damage? Give me a break. How much more of a psychopath can you become? Look, stop with your nonsensical requests because we're already divorced. What do you mean divorced? I never uttered a word about getting a divorce and I will never allow it. You have to stay as my wife and do the chores for me. I've already turned in the paperwork and thanks to the help of Madison, the process went quite smoothly. She even gave me the documents with your signature on it. So everything's settled now. What? I don't remember signing any divorce papers. Wait, Madison asked me to sign some paperwork the other day, but she hurried me so much that I didn't even have time to read it. I'm worried about what I might have signed. Could it, could it be? Look, I don't care how it's done. The only thing I know is that our divorce has been finalized and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, by the way, have fun drowning in debt after your luxury trip with your sister. I'm sure you'll love struggling to make ends meet for months to come. Five star resort? I bet it must cost a bomb, huh? Seriously, I don't know how you would cough up all those bills with your meager salary. And don't even think about asking for my help, because there's no way it's gonna happen. Sure, I might have gone a little overboard with my credit card on my vacation, but I'll have that paid off in no time. I have a new source of income that's going to allow me and my sister to live a lavish lifestyle without even lifting a finger. I'm not going to tell you what it is though, but let's just say that I'm about to become very, very rich. So, if you're looking for someone to pity, you're looking in the wrong place. I'm doing better than ever, and I'm only just getting started. And what's that new source of income that you're mentioning? Let me guess. You're gonna sell the diamond necklace that you stole from me, right? H how do you know? When did you figure out about that? Don't think I didn't see you and your sister eyeing my necklace like a couple of vultures. I know you've been plotting to steal it from me. Well, I have some bad news for you. That necklace you stole from me is fake. <laughs> what? A fake necklace? No way. It can't be. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. You're kidding me, right? Please tell me that you're joking. This is no time for jokes, you know. That's right. You heard me correctly. It's a replica of the real diamond necklace that your mom gave me. You witch! You framed me? You framed your one and only husband? I never thought you would be so cold-blooded to even think of that idea. Well, it wasn't my idea though. It was your mom's idea. Besides, she also told me that she won't let you stay in her house any longer. So you and Madison had better move out and find a new place of your own. What? Mom won't let me and Madison live in her house anymore? How could she do this to us? We're her children. Surely she can't treat us so cruelly, right? You call yourselves her children? But what have you ever done for her, except plot to steal the necklace that she gave to me? Look, if the necklace is fake, then where on earth can I get the money to pay for my debt? Please, Cora, can you give me the real necklace so that I can pay for my debt? 
please. None of my concern. You made your own bed, now lie in it. I hope you enjoy living together with your sister. I'm out. Cora, after much consideration, I've decided that we should remarry and get back together. I mean it. I finally realized that I can't live without you. You're the one and only for me, sweetheart. Seriously? Have you taken the wrong medications today? Please, can you give me a chance to redeem myself? I did you wrong, and I'm really, truly sorry for that. But I'm a changed man now, and I'm willing to do everything in my power to make it up to you. Spare me the act, Angelo. I already know everything. Madison is getting married, right? That can mean only one thing. She's dumping you like a sack of potatoes. I mean, I gotta give credit to her for putting up with you all this time in that rundown apartment. But eventually, she needs to find herself a way out, don't you think? She said she doesn't need me anymore and even disowned me as her brother. I can't believe it. After everything I have done for her, how could she treat me like that? She didn't even bother to introduce me to her husband or invite me to her wedding. She sees me as some kind of burden or something. Like... I don't even exist. Well, I was gonna pretend like I feel sorry for you, but I don't. Serves you right. That's what you get when you mistreat your own wife. What do you expect? She's a grown woman. She gets to decide everything for herself. Besides, with that huge debt of yours, I can only imagine how ecstatic she was when she finally had a chance to get rid of you, for good. No! Does she even know that I'm indebted because of her? It was because of that stupid vacation that she insisted I give her. Oh, that's unfortunate. Cora, thank you for understanding me. Now, I know that you're the only one for me. We're destined to be together. You can't escape me. Let's get remarried and live happily together forever. Just you and I. We will have beautiful kids together. You can still get to see my good-looking face every day. Come on. I bet you're dying to get laid again, aren't you? You can't stand waking up every day without seeing my pretty face. Please, Angelo, you're making me sick. Stop being so delusional and listen to me once and for all. We will never get back together. Do you hear me? We're done. I already moved to a new place, far away from your toxicity. Enjoy living alone until you find a new woman who can put up with your mean personality, but I doubt it. Angelo's parents were more than ashamed of their children's actions. Angelo's mother insisted that I keep the diamond necklace as a way to apologize to me. Angelo was not only deserted by his beloved sister Madison, but even his parents refused to talk to him because of what he had done to me. Angelo tried so hard to persuade me to remarry him, but I had already made up my mind. I would never get back together with a self-absorbed and toxic person like Angelo. I was determined to cut off all contact with him and start a new chapter of my own. This time, I would only surround myself with the people I loved.